because we have so much reserves of oil, the world expects from us to contribute to the increase in demand and energy. The whole theme behind it is that we change our way of thinking, we change our way of uh, work. How we can integrate the data, how we can take a quick decision, how we can integrate the people and make the envi collaborative environment for them to work together. All of them working to make this room an integrated room to achieve maximum recovery, maximum reduction in very short time with the right decision. The information we're going to deliver is the best information they can get on hand. We are ensuring that next generation, our like, grandkids, will live a, a living standards. If not as good as we are, they're even better. Really, I think we have started developing our long-term strategies in the late 90s. After that, of course, we have improved and enhanced our strategy development. And now when we talk about the 2030 strategy, it's always 20 years ahead. Really, the main aim was to reach the 4 million barrels per day by 2020 and to sustain that level of production until 2030. Today, the world demand is about 85 million of oil per day. We are expecting the world demand is gonna increase by the year 2022 to about 110 million. We have to really to be proactive and be ready for this increase in demand. Ramping or increasing the production is, is one thing. And another thing is optimizing the production and to have a, a good control in our production as well as to improve the safety and health and environment as well, which is very important. I think this is the start of really building a new uh, approach to enhance our uh, field and uh, optimize our production. This is really the ultimate vision that we will have an integrated digital system for all our fields. This is ultimately what we are aiming for. We believe that when we look to the ambitious and aggressive strategy to change the way of the work, we believe that the only way to achieve that is to use the technology in a proper way. To get the last drop of oil, we need to have a new way of doing business. This is an integration of people and the digital field to make it work. So the integration world is very vital uh, to be included, and that's why we call Kuwait Integrated Digital Field. What KOC did is to really sort of think, as we say, outside the box, to think about a different way of working and a different way of collaborating to deliver some extraordinary results. There is no more uh, uh, major or uh, large uh, fields like we used to have, like the Bergen field. It's not easy to really increase the production from the existing reservoirs without really changing the way you do business and uh, introducing new technologies. You cannot find a new oil in the old field without a new technology. And that's what we believe, to jump to the next layer. We have enough oil on the old reservoir to produce but we need to optimize it. We believe that technology is very linked to the, uh, our strategy. So it will reflect and we will achieve our strategy in high uh, speed, I believe, rather than wait for the standard way of doing business. So I think this will be the best reservoir management if we apply this technology today, improve our recovery factor, and increase our reserve. This will really give, uh, make you make the best decision, not the decision the best decision. So we looked around the world to see whether uh, what we are looking for or our vision uh, actually does exist. And uh, unfortunately, 
it didn't. So we have to like do a lot, lot of out of box thinking and uh, pull different pieces, search for different pieces for all the different challenges and put them together. We looked at the way we are working, right, and what is required to be done, and we found like the kind of uh, changes we required will be almost kind of uh, transformational changes. All the technology, I think, is a piece of cake compared to the uh, change management that takes place to uh, transform the organization. CODEF is not only a technology, it's a new way of doing uh, work. The intention is to have a workflow that does all the work, the routine work, in order for uh, the people to be more creative and think outside the box. North Kuwait it is really a good place to test because it is not uh, pure natural. It is a tough reservoir. We have water injection in Sabria. We have ESP wells. We have gas lip. We have more than 400 wells and we are growing more and more. So the challenge is not the oil, the challenge is the water. And Sabria is, since you inject that much of water, you have to monitor daily. Where is this water goes? Is going to the right place? Is doing the business? Is doing the pressure maintenance or not? It is one field, but you have so many layers, and each reservoir has its own complexity, and it has its own development strategy. We have to manage water. We have to manage production. We have to make sure that we do the best for this reservoir. I have to listen to my reservoir. So if I cannot listen to my reservoir in an instant, and especially and the decision-making process where we are about 125 kilometers from the field, telephone call is not enough. So this is very important actually to be always on top of these wells and looking after them carefully in terms of reservoir management and well management. This area was specifically chosen because of the challenging aspects uh, uh, regarding production. The best thing is to go to the most challenging, then it would be uh, by default, for other areas, as a simple application for the area, it would be more simpler to apply it in the other areas and improve the other areas. But the, the most need now is in these fields, really. Working in silo, uh, to me, is working in isolation. When a problem occurs, someone will try to do the solution by himself. It might work, it might not work. In CODIF, it's quite different. We call it collaboration. And the collaboration, you don't look at your discipline. You look at the objective of each of these screens around you. So the people sitting there, their objective to make that will reduce to the maximum. With the concept of collaboration, those people will understand, that I know what you are doing and you know what I'm doing. So the, the decision will be a mutual decision. We'll go this way, this is the best. One of the key components of CODEF is space. And we think that in order to the, make the person more creative, let me put this person in the right place. We challenged all the architects and the service companies. We said, we want a state-of-art space. But also needed to facilitate individuals sitting here eight hours a day doing their work in a very comfortable, collaborative manner. As you look at the screens, the reason why they're so large is so that you could literally carve out your own piece. From the console, they're able to put what they're working on at that time up onto any of these uh, interactive monitors and walk up there and start working with their colleagues real time. The thing that really struck me about the center more than any single thing was the development of the workflows which really provide you an aha moment about how this is really going to work. The idea of this room is not uh, a big screen and a nice color. The idea is how you uh, use the workflow to help the petrophysicists, the geologists, the reservoir to deal with the, with the subsurface. So the philosophy of the, of the KOC project is give me the advice, give me the answer, give me the action, and just one click button. Click. That's it. And send that signal to the field to, you know, operate the VAL or operate any physical instrumentation in the field. 
Now, you see all these colors there, but trust me, there is massive amount of engineering behind. And it's not an engineering which was off the shelf somewhere. It has the capacity to not only view the data, analyze the data, but real time make those decisions. And that's the engineering behind. And that's the beauty of this project. That's the beauty and that makes it different from all other projects. It's one of its kind. But what is the use of technology without people? So the key essence of that technology is the people. Unless people use this technology and play as one team with operation, with well surveillance, with field development, we will not see the value of that uh, integrated uh, digital oil field. So it is a journey together. It is not a project. And during this journey, we'll, there will be some pain point. There's some success, some failure, but we are together apart. There was a lot of uh, uh, alignment that needed to happen between uh, Halliburton and KLC, uh, where the partnership really came together on trying to understand exactly where KLC wanted to go and how Halliburton's expertise could bring that forward. And what the team delivered is really a blueprint uh, for where we're headed in the future. It was a very successful, it was tough in some time, but here we are. This is, I believe it's a successful story. I think that it could be a flagship, not only for KOC to show others in the industry how they are applying technology, but also a flagship for Halliburton as we demonstrate to our other customers around the world what we can do by working together in a collaborative way.